A lot of people only know what they see in movies. What's one thing that might surprise people about prison life? Honestly, the loneliness. People think it's all fights and gangs, but the silence, when that door shuts at night, it hits you. You realize how much you miss simple things, like hearing your family's voice. That sounds heavy. How did you cope with that isolation? I wrote to my mom almost every day. All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create a full AI-powered podcast just like this. Follow along with me to the end and don't skip any part of the video so you can understand the process. This is for everyone, even if you've never tried this before. Let's get started. In order to create this AI podcast, the very first thing we need is a prompt to generate images. For that, we'll be using a platform called Leonardo AI. This tool is really powerful because it allows you to generate high quality images for free. As you can see on my screen, I currently have 150 free credits available. I'll set the image aspect ratio to 16 by 9, which is the standard widescreen size for video. Now, if you want to generate more images or unlock extra features, you also have the option to upgrade your plan and get more credits. Once you finish generating your images on Leonardo AI, the next step is to move over to LM Arena. This platform helps you create dynamic shots by arranging your generated images. For example, you can separate your podcast characters into different frames so that later on, you'll be able to switch camera angles as they speak during the podcast. So go ahead, generate your images, download them, and then we'll move on to the animation stage. Now it's time to bring your still images to life. We want them to talk and move like real humans. For this, there are a couple of platforms we can use. Hedra or Heijin. In today's tutorial, I'll be using Heijin. Inside Heijin, click on photo to video, then hit the upload button. Select the image you created earlier with Leonardo AI and upload it into the tool. Once it's uploaded successfully, the next step is to import our audio file. For the audio, we'll start by generating a script. You can use ChatGPT to write your podcast script. After that, head over to Google AI Studio to turn the script into a professional sounding voiceover. On Google AI Studio's interface, click New Chat and then choose Generate Native Speech with Gemini. Here you'll find two options, single speaker, great if only one person is talking, multi-speaker, perfect if you're creating a conversation like in this podcast project. We'll select multi-speaker, paste our script into the text box, and assign different voices to speaker one and speaker two. After that, just hit run, and in seconds, you'll have your podcast voiceover generated completely free. A lot of people only know what they see in movies. What's one thing that might surprise people about prison life? Honestly, the loneliness. People think it's all fights and gangs, but... Now that our voiceover is ready, go back to Heijin and click on Upload or Record Audio. Select your voiceover file and you'll see it go into processing. Since this is a free version, keep in mind there may be some limitations like shorter video length or reduced quality. If you're really planning to get serious with AI podcasts or talking head avatars, I highly recommend considering the upgrade option for longer and higher quality outputs. Here's the first result. As you can see, both speakers' mouths are moving at the same time, which isn't what we want. That might surprise people about prison life. Honestly, the loneliness. People think it's all fights and gangs, but the... This is where editing software comes in. Personally, I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro, but you can also achieve the same results using CapCut or any other editing software you're comfortable with. Inside Premiere Pro, I imported the AI-generated images along with the voiceover. Then what I did was carefully crop out sections of the image so that when one speaker is talking, the other person's mouth is hidden or replaced with the still frame. This way, it looks more natural, as if only one person is talking at a time. Another trick I used was to switch camera angles with the shots we created earlier in Ella Marina. For example, while speaker 1 is talking, I can use a close-up or side angle of speaker 1 while hiding speaker 2's face. Then when speaker 2 responds, I swap the angle again. This simple back and forth editing creates a more realistic and engaging podcast experience. 
The beauty of this method is that you don't need advanced editing skills. Whether you're using Premiere Pro, CapCut, or any mobile video editing app, the process is the same. Import your generated images, use cropping or replacement shots to hide the inactive speaker, switch angles for variety and realism. And that's it. Here's the final result. A lot of people only know what they see in movies. What's one thing that might surprise people about prison life? Honestly, the loneliness. People think it's all fights and gangs, but the silence, when that door shuts at night, it hits you. You realize how much you miss simple things, like hearing your family's voice. That sounds heavy. How did you cope with that isolation? I wrote to my mom almost every day. As you can see, the conversation looks much more natural with smooth transitions and camera changes instead of both avatars talking at once. This workflow is simple, effective, and easy to replicate. With the right combination of tools, Leonardo AI, LM Arena, Hagen, Google AI Studio, and your preferred editing software, you can create a fully AI-generated podcast from start to finish.